What is up? The Ask Me Amy Addy here again. Finally with another unboxing video on the Junibio 2 Ken Ren, whatever you pronounce it. I have this very bad canker sore right now, probably from drinking too much uh, soda during the whole Thanksgiving and also through whole Black Friday and Cyber Monday going on. But I'm trying to do the best I can, trying to speak through here, but I can't go like over bunctuous with this whole thing. I don't know if that's the right word for it. But we have here the Chinibio Demoga Whatever Shita, which is like Love Chinibio and Other Delusions Seasons 2 Ken Premium Edition from Sentai Filmworks. I pre ordered this a long time ago, and I'm really I just can't believe I forgot that I pre-ordered this, because this just came in the mail, surprisingly, like a Christmas present, you might say. But with anyway, without out of the way, um, let's uh, start with the unboxing here. This is a new desk setup, so this is going to be a little challenging for me, but stick with me. In comparison with this art box, compared to its big, fat sister, the Season 1 set, this thing is freaking thin. Like, it lost a ton of weight on here. If you look to the side over here, like, boom! Like, all we have over here is the, um... The little, uh, little extra box here, and I think it's mostly due that there's no art book in here anymore, so it's they were able to cut the size down on here, and along with certain extras. But here we got the usual thing we have uh, in comparison the Blu ray DVD with the Blu ray DVD over here, but this time with another character. Um, I, this was, I barely remember this show like after season one for me because I, I just I didn't decide to watch season two this was kind of like a blind buy for me but you also get this little book over here and with the sides over on the other sides with the spines my apologies I meant the back over here we got the rest of the swimsuit characters over here from uh Reen it's, it's hard to remember these names all I know is that Meg McDonald voiced uh, Rika uh, uh Brittany Karbowski voiced her and the rest of the characters over here with the swimsuits um Though I think some got, got a different swimsuits for this one. It's a more bank. It's more like a little so something spicy, whatever to enjoy on here. But with that out of the way, um, you already saw all the sides in here. So now let's just move this giant box aside and take a look at the discs. The first case holds all the DVDs over here with uh, two main uh, little girls and <laughs> yeah, little girls uh, with our main character who was voiced by Liraldo and Zaldua or whatever. And uh, from the side over here, it holds, as I mentioned, the DVDs with discs one, each one holding around four episodes. And I think there's an OVA. Yeah, OVA is included over here. And from the discards, well, first let's take a look at the case artwork. Uh, the inside case artwork is pretty nice, though. I don't know, just the swimsuit one just doesn't seems out of place for the whole thing though it's all like a Genevio fantasy type th dream world that it's supposed to represent in here in this little case artwork but with the discs I don't know it feels a little bit weird that you got these little clock representing the first disc and the second disc I wonder if there's like yeah it's five and six it seems a little weird and then the third one it shows gears I thought they would probably have the first one there the second one to represent that and then the third one be like that or something like that but yeah, uh, but overall I'm not going to be really paying attention to the DVDs much since it's mostly about the Blu-ray for here. So let's take a look at the Blu-ray now. Now the Blu-ray case over here shows the rest of the cast over here with the back. And if I, hey, let me try to focus a little more if I can. But right here, it not only mentions the Chinibio life shorts, but the cloning, cleaning, opening and closing and also the trailers, that type of stuff. Yet the DVD over here doesn't show that. All it shows is the life shorts. You're going to get the shorts off here on both sets, but I think the Blu-ray comes with like those uh, trailers and that opening and closing thing, which is a little bit weird for me, but people already complain enough that Sentai has a bare bones set, so at least having shorts and an OVA, people wouldn't probably wouldn't even care about it. But with the case cover, it's a lot colorful compared to the DVD, in my opinion. Uh, with all the chicks in magical girl outfits, you could probably say, and with the Blu-rays on here, um, it's... It's just, it's just the usual thing. I don't know. Maybe I didn't complain about it back on my very first to season one uh, set unboxing, but now that I look at it, it, the case just, the disc seems a little bit out of place with each other. It should it, it either be both of these be that or both of those be that. Like, not both. It just seems a little bit weird, unless if there's like extras and that type of stuff, but there isn't, which is a little disappointing. But um, that's probably the whole thing, because the next thing, the extras, may be a little bit disappointing for some people compared to the very first set that they did, but we'll take a look at it anyway. And already on here, I came to the 
biggest complaint already with this little extra box thing. Just like, look at that little flap over here. In comparison, you could have easily opened it in the original extra set, where it's all slid out, there's no like little hooves over here to like lock into place. You can just easily open it without damaging the thing. So it was kind of easier to hold your extras in here. Uh, not on this one though, which is a little confusing, though the artwork is, yes, gorgeous. It looks like something mixed with Oh My Goddess, if Kyoto Animation was behind this, the animation for it on these designs, which is really, really lovely. Oh, the extras inside. Um, I think it's the usual thing with the little um, art cards over here. I'm not going to be opening these. Well, uh, well, I can do that. I can open the art cards. I, I'm not really going to be selling them anyway, so might as well take a look at them. But with the little art cards over here, we got, I think they're all designed for the visual novel, I believe. Uh, yeah, so if you like the art style over there, you get something out of these little art cards. Though, yeah, you're just going to be staring at them. You're not going to really do anything with them. Unless you could probably take them to convention, probably have them signed by actors. And a little pin over here. Um, a magnetic pin, I think. Uh, with the two ladies over here. And a little mini uh, Rika. I mean, it's a little keychain thing, similar to the ones you get from the first season set over here with the extras that was right over here. Though, it's not as cute in my opinion. Since I think the chick herself wasn't really that cute. Even though she's voiced by Christina Mari Kelly in the dub. Though she, oh yeah, she has a nice body though for that swimsuit though. And these little stickers uh, with another little sticker. And the poster itself, let me just cut to me having the poster full out. It's the main preview image that you see off the websites that you see off the Anime News Network and Crunchyroll. I had to raise that up to unlock the, uh, the lock for it. Um, it's nothing really interesting for me. I'm just going to keep it folded in like most of all the other posters. But I think that's all the extras that you have over here. Um, yeah, that's kind of it. But the last thing is the little notebook that you get, which I'll, I'll still cut to it. The Nabinogion, I think that's uh, how you pronounce it, which uh, the little redhead chick that was voiced by Maggie Flecknell uh, used uh, in the past. I believe, or was it um, the chick voiced by Brittany Karbowski. I'm not sure. It's been a long time since I watched the show, but anyway, it's just a little journal that you just write out down in it. Yeah, it's a little bit disappointing. It's not like anything in comparison to the big giant art book that you just got out of here. And I think it would have been cool if like the little image on here would have been able to go up and down as you skim through the pages and write down the stuff that you do. But either way, I'm not going to be writing on it. It's, it's nice, uh, but... Yeah, that's kind of it. It's just, it's all nice to me. It's not really a, a big improvement or s something similar to the quality from the first set on here. But let me just have everything out so then I can further talk about it. The set overall, as I said, is pretty nice. It's got that glossy feel from the original box set. But it's like nothing as awesome as comparisons to like its big fat sister over here. Which also had like the little art book and it just, it, the size of the art books mostly just got me like fanboying over just how like memorable it was to see this giant art box. Though, in comparison, um, maybe TBS uh, couldn't give them like any more of the extras or something like that so they had to get with what they have to have a thin art box. And I am glad that it isn't too big so I can easily put it on my shelf. Though, now there's going to be future sets that Sentai's going to release like that Machi one which is... It's going along the route that I have with, that I had issues with with Funimation with their premium sets, so it's kind of a disappointing, disappointing thing. But the price is a lot cheaper over here, and if you're lucky, you might be able to find a good sale on it during this uh, holiday season going on right now. I'm still going to keep it, especially for the dub. Uh, though Kyle Jones is in, no, Emily Neves is no longer going to be in it. Because according to certain rumors, um, uh, rumors going along about like why it's Kyle Jones and no longer Emily Neves. Supposedly, um, she was supposed to be directing the Super Sonico anime. It wasn't originally supposed to be Kyle Jones, it was supposed to be Emily Neves, though apparently the Japanese uh, people wanted uh, Jessica Negri to be in it, but Emily Neves didn't want Jessica Negri to be in it, so she got a little angry and decided to like, bail out of uh, directing, because she didn't get a lot of like say in casting and that type of stuff, kind of like what all ADR directing is kind of is, like the whole thing with Christopher Ayers having to be uh, strictly working with the Japanese for that dub, and for this as well, so she kind of went away from it, uh, did ADR, I mean, did some ADR writing, um, over at Funimation, and maybe some other things, and though, uh, she's not gonna probably do directing anymore, she's gonna be doing writing, which is fine with me, cause it's, it's something, it's something that I, cause I think a lot of dub haters, I, I believe on Anime News Network, were kind of praising her for not only the script, but also for her directing that she did over there, so if she can't be one thing, she could be something that's close to it, and yeah, that's mostly while Kyle Jones is, uh, doing the directing on here, which is a little bit disappointing, cause, yeah, there's still only two ADR directors that 
the main EDR directors, Christopher Ayers and Kyle Jones. But with the dub talk out of the way, I'd love to make a whole video section on the whole thing about the whole dubbing process on the whole thing. But if you want, if you want, uh, comment to me about it. And I hope you also enjoyed this unboxing of the Chudibio 2 Ken uh, Limited Edition, Premium Edition unboxing, whatever the hell you call it. And I, this is probably the only thing I'm going to be getting because... Uh, for the whole Black Friday thing and Cyber Monday deals that I got, I mostly just got some lenses, uh, certain stuff for the family, and I think two anime titles and a few games off the Steam sale. And speaking of that, if you are okay with the terrible like lighting that's going to happen if I move my camera around, uh, this is my new setup that I have over here. Like right there in the darkness, there is my giant full tower. And here it is, the Corsair 750D over here uh, with a bunch of fans. I think some Corsair MS, ML ones, whatever they're called with my whole Samsung monitor and two lights over here to show the whole thing and my blue Yeti and the setup all around over here in this nice giant uh, desk over here and if I move the towels over here aside you could then see my chair that I have sorry if it's blurry let me see if I can focus around over here but yeah and there's a ton of crap all over the place I'm trying to get rid of those mangas that I have over here and yeah it's a quite bit of a mess but that's kind of been the issue why I was able to make an unboxing because not only money issues but also that I was trying to redecorate and all sorts and behind the whole desk there's a giant Corsair keyboard which is awesome and this whole mat is a giant Corsair thing and this setup uh, though really bright though maybe a little bit dark because I was trying to mix with auto focusing and manu manual focusing because this setup is was a little weird to me but I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, guys or girls and if you like leave a like comment subscribe to my channel follow me on Facebook Twitter uh, support me on patreon if you want a more faster workflow or stable uh, quality of content and Thank you for enjoying my content. This has been the Ask Me Amy Attic, and thank you for seeing this video and many more to come. Bye.